taking this Hi everybody welcome back I'm Disha and I'm here to help you transform your house into a home as you might be aware that I have started a new challenge new series dare to DIY where any of you can challenge me to DIY something you can share the images of the thing that you want me to DIY and I'll go through all the images that I receive then I'll choose one DIY that I find unique and interesting so the last week I have received about 18 to 20 images and uh, here's whose challenge I have accepted so gorav whose instagram id is crafty boy gorav 123 challenged me to diy this book folding kettle which i thought is something really unique and the idea of book folding kind of intrigued me so i accepted the challenge first i thought i'll be making the kettle as is but then i put my creative head on and i thought i'll be making something useful instead of just plain kettle i'll be making a cluster of hanging lamps so let's begin what we'll need for this diy is an old book so i'm taking this book you can take any old book or you can take magazine as well but remember it should have the book should have at least 200 to 300 pages if the number of pages are less than uh, you have to make two objects and then join them together now i'll show you how to do it so the first step is to remove the cover page of the book because we don't need the cover page we'll need the inside pages because we'll be folding these pages only not the cover page on all the pages we'll fold two different types of patterns so this is the book and i'm going to mark One and half centimeter here because we'll fold till that point. So first fold is this one. Fold it this way, and then fold it again so that it rests on this edge like so. So this is the first fold. On first page, we'll fold the first pattern, and on the second, the second pattern. and then we'll keep doing the same for all rest of the pages now for the second fold i'm going to fold like so next i'll fold it this way and then one more triangular fold like this and then the lower end of the page should be folded like this so this is the first fold and here is the second fold and that's how we are going to do it alternatively on all the pages can you see the shape so this is the shape that it's going to gain once we are done and when you fold it is so necessary to ensure that these edges are straight sometimes it can happen that your fold is not tidy not neat then the edges will appear like this you have to avoid that so at some point when the folded part becomes this thick it becomes really difficult to hold it the folded part with one hand and then keep folding with the other so what you can do is keep it on the edge of the table and push the entire folded part like so and then keep folding the rest of the pages so it becomes manageable though still it's difficult but it's manageable i have only two pages let's do it on camera so this one is the last page nice now i'll make handle on one side and the spout on the other and for that i'm going to use the cover page 
So this is the cover page. One side already has the pages. On the other side, the front side, I'm gonna stick the pages. And to make the handle and the spout, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna place this cover page here. Keeping it this way will give me the idea where should I draw the spout and where should be the handle. So this is the kettle spout and handle that I have drawn. Now I'll cut it. So this is the spout and this is the handle and that's how I'm gonna stick it like this. Now do you see there is this groove which is nice and round where we can insert cable easily and then I'm gonna stick these papers together like so and the teapot will be hanging nicely. This is the magazine I used for making the teacup. It had only 110 pages. So first I removed the cover page and then cut the magazine into two smaller pieces of 9 by 6 cm. Here's the one smaller piece. Then begin the fun part of folding it. I used just one folding pattern here which was super easy and it didn't take long. Here's the first part of the teacup which looks like this. And here's the second one. Then I cut out a handle and fixed it. Then I glued half part of the open sides. I'm gonna stick just one end of it. The other end is still open. So we'll insert the cable here first and then we'll stick it together like so. Okay. Now let's install it. Slide it onto the wire and then stick the open ends together. This will secure the kettle and now it rests nicely on the holder. Here's a warning. Always use LED bulbs for all your paper lamps and lanterns. Never use filament bulb. I am using just for the video purpose because I didn't have spare LED bulbs. Now let's do some magic. So that's all. That was the very first Dare to DIY challenge. Tell me how did I perform and if you too want to challenge me then you can share the images either on my email which is this or send me the images on my Instagram or Facebook. That's all for today and I'll see you soon. Till then watch either this video or this. Bye bye. Wish you all love, luck and sunshine. Till then watch 